All right, guys, try to stay with me today. I'm a little nervous. Um, so I'm Brennan Sweeney for y'all that don't know me. Um, I play here at Northern Iowa. I play football here. I'm a junior as well. Um, <clears throat> here we go. <laughs> so I grew up Catholic, um, so that means I was baptized as a baby. Um, I grew up going to church every single weekend. Um, and my great-great-uncle was a Catholic priest for 50 years. So being a Catholic is definitely part of our family, and that's how I grew up and I was raised. Um, later in life, when I was about 10 years old, sports and AU took me away from um, the church scene and everything that I had going there. Um, and I, I turned into one of those families that just showed up on holidays like Easter and Christmas and stuff like that. I would always say I have been seeking the Lord. I just didn't have the answers that I needed or any understanding of the gospel. Um, I did FCA in high school as well, um, where I was kind of given this little card. It was a prayer card that kind of explained, like, how you can be saved or what to say to be saved. And this, this can work for you, you know, getting these prayer cards, but it definitely did not work for me. Um, there was no change in my heart whatsoever. It was just a prayer that I said, and I was like, all right, I'm saved, right? Um, there was no act of repentance, and I was just abusing God's grace, um, then out of high school, uh, I went to the University of Iowa, and I was involved in Athletes in Actions there. Um, I enjoyed my time there. Um, I did not go to church whatsoever, though, because I told myself that I would not go to church unless it was a Catholic church and walk on, um, which is so ignorant of me to do. Um, and then I decided to transfer after a year. Um, I came here. Um, and after a summer, I just kind of keep it to myself and... Um, not doing a whole lot, not being an FCA, um, just kind of avoiding people, I guess, and just trying to fit in and check the boxes. Um, actually, the first weekend here, I got a little bit in trouble with the law, and kind of after that is when it, it all took over. Um, I started going to Ken and Lynn's. Every chance I got, I started meeting with Ken. Every chance I got, it seemed, uh, you know, uh, they really brought me a lot. I thank you guys, seriously. Um, I do want to say sports may have took me away from God and church and the scene, um, but they also brought me here, and I'm very thankful for that. So one night uh, around December time last year, a verse that just kept popping out to me. Everywhere I went, every which way, I was just seeing it. It just kept popping out, and I felt like it was speaking to me. And that was Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So then after that, I had a long realization that I truly haven't surrendered fully to Christ. Um, so then I decided to give my life to Christ by accepting Jesus in my life and believing that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and that he rose on the third day and defeated death. Um, and I started actively turning away from my sins and repenting. And now I still go to uh, Ken and Lynn's every chance I get. Um, I would consider them my second family, and I'm... So blessed to have that. I also have so many new friends that I've been blessed to have here. Um, my family's also seen a change in my attitude. Um, you know, pure joy and happiness that I've got through fulfillment of God and Christ. So the reason I decided to be baptized today is because I realized that as an infant, I did not repent of my sins and put my faith in Christ and display that through baptism. Um, and today I'm going to do that. So... Brendan Sweeney, because of your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.